Hello everyone, and welcome back to another episode of Server Play. This is Scoots42. Uh, as you can tell, I've been a little busy. Uh, I've got uh, this building expanded. Uh, I think this is going to serve as the main building. And then we'll have uh, what I'm hoping uh, will be a complex of additional buildings. Uh, right now, for instance, this building is housing uh, you know, power and uh, machines. Eventually, we'll probably have a building just for machines. Uh, a separate building, uh, probably this one will continue to be just for power. Uh, I haven't decided if I want to, you know, kind of expand this building uh, in the same manner or if we're going to do a separate building yet. I'm still kind of thinking about that. Uh, but I have expanded on this building a little bit. And what I've been working on is getting a sorting system of sorts, uh, <laughs> if you'll pardon the wordplay. Uh, I've gone ahead and I've done a bunch of iron chests. Uh, I've got this stuff kind of labeled, uh, you know, just the way I like it. Uh, you don't have to do it this way. Uh, if you've got a, a way that you prefer uh, organizing your things, of course, you know, do it the way that you would prefer. Because, uh, I mean, you know, ultimately you're the one that has to remember where you put your stuff. And as you can see over here, uh, this eventually will be our input chest. And uh, I'm going to combine this with uh, this ESD, which uh, basically every time you look at it, uh, if you look in the parentheses, uh, it has a different uh, name up there. Extra long solidifying dislocation or dissociation. Funny stuff. And we're going to combine this with an item interface. Uh, so the inbound is going to come from the west and the outbound will be going up. Uh, and as you can see on the west, it's showing uh, the 54 uh, slots because that's how many is available here in the iron chest and it is showing zero uh, on the up because we don't have this attached to anything yet and basically what we're going to want to do is uh, we're going to need one two three four five six seven uh, eight nine and ten probably I'm going to need ten uh, and I'm going for the advanced item relays uh, these are going to take regular item laser relays, uh, so let's get into that crafting process. Uh, let's see, I'm going to need uh, a few blocks uh, of uh, redstone, and I'm hoping, uh, I went, I've been mining uh, basically for almost a, a day and a half now. now. Let's see, I think I've got my redstone in here. We're going to need a, uh, quite a few, uh, I think we're going to need like 18 of those. Is this is this gonna is this gonna disconnect me? Is that what we're maybe? Yep. Yeah. Uh, back in just a minute. All right, we are back. I've been having uh, some internet issues today. I don't know uh, what's going on with that. But anyway, uh, let's get ourselves a few more blocks of redstone. Let's see. I'm gonna need. Like 18 of those? Jeez. And that's only 14. But I think, let's go ahead. I do have a few energy relays, so we might be able to get uh, the basics of this uh, going. And let's see. We're also going to need a fair amount of obsidian and some of these advanced coils. So I don't think I have any of that stuff on me. And let's see. Did I put that in the fancy stuff? I did. Here's some of it. And I do have some more uh, over in uh, the powered building uh, getting crushed up. I think we're going to need some sticks, uh, which we should have plenty of up here. There we go. Oh, those gonna, yeah, those will just go back in the old inventory. So uh, let's get these in here for now. There we go. And then we'll take a, a pile of them out of there. There we go. So let's get this guy going. And we're going to want a few of those. Uh, that is for sure. What else did we need for those? Oh, some Restonia crystals. That's what we need. So let's uh, go and make some of our Restonia crystals. 
Uh, we'll do about that many. I don't want to take all the redstone. I mean, uh, you know, if we have to, we'll just kind of add to the sorting system as we get more materials in. It just goes to show you, you never have enough. And like I said, I mean, I, I have been basically mining nonstop uh, for just about, just a little over a day, uh, probably. You know, a good uh, uh, eight to ten hours anyway. A good work day, I'll put it that way. Uh, I'm not I'm not going to mine for 24 straight hours. I mean that's that's just a little uh, crazy. But a good work a good work day at least and a half uh, of nothing but mining. Let's see. I think we're going to be able to get about 6 of these because uh, that's uh, pretty much all the obsidian I have. Uh, but I think this is going to be enough to get us going. Let's see. Let's hold off on these for just a minute. Let's let's see what we can get crafted with what we've got. I'm going to need a little bit of gold, uh, which I believe we have a fair amount of. Something like that, maybe. That'll probably be good. And we're going to want to turn these into uh, those guys. Oh, yeah, that was great. Let's, in fact, let's turn some of that back into ingots. There we go. We didn't need quite that much. That, that turned out to be a lot more than I thought it was going to be. There we go. So we should be able to get our advanced coils now. About seven of those. And let's see how many of these we can get. Because this is going to give us quite a few. And let's try that. Let's see how far we can get... Uh, with 15 of these. Because uh, what we're going for, I believe, uh, we need to get those turned into item laser relays, and then we're going to need more of the advanced coils, Restonia crystals, and black quartz. So I think we're going to have enough uh, to get this done. Let's see, exactly how many do I want here? I want one, two, three, and seven is ten. And here I think we can get away with a regular item laser relay. So we're going to want eleven in total. So those are the ones we're going to hit with the atomic reconstructor, provided I can get out of the door. There we go. So there's the fluid laser relays, and now we should have our item laser relays. So let's check on this again. We want the advanced item laser relays, so we're going to want uh, in total 11 of those coils. Well, let's see how many more of these we can get. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We need three more of those. What are we missing? I need a little more Restonia crystal. Okay. I think we can probably afford to turn that back into redstone. And... Let's see how we're doing. Oh, are we going to DC again? Oh, look, we came back. How nice. Let's do this the easy way. Let's put a stack in there. And uh, hopefully, nope. Yeah, there we go. Back in. All right, we are back again. Silly internet, man. I'm telling you, uh, this I've not had this level of internet issues in quite some time. Uh, so let's try this again. Uh, I'd rather have a full stack of redstone and see how much we can get done with uh, this little shorter stack of redstone. 
Uh, so let's get these turned into the Restonia crystals we need. Uh, hopefully the internet will be kind enough to let us continue playing. I tell you, one of the other things uh, I would love to work on uh, sooner rather than later is some way to store the experience. Uh, believe it or not, I uh, actually had about 35 levels earlier and I died. Uh, it was not very much fun. Uh, it was my own fault, totally my own fault I died. I, I wish I could blame it on uh, something else, you know, like the uh, internet going out or something, but it was totally my fault. Uh, so I can't get too upset about it. Let's see. Uh, I think we needed a few more basic coils. I think. Did we? Or do we just need a little more gold? which I think might be the case. I think we just need some more gold. So let's get a little more gold. We should have plenty of it. See how far that'll get us. Uh, believe it or not, I'm actually much better at math uh, than I let on. Uh, but when I'm playing, uh, you know, math has kind of worked for me, so I don't really want to, uh, uh, you know, do like, a whole bunch of uh, math. Let's see. I'm going to need probably at least two more ingots. Uh, you know, I don't mind doing, you know, like rough math, uh, like we just did here, where I'm thinking I need, you know, maybe two more ingots. Uh, I don't want to have to uh, actually sit there and do uh, real math uh, where I'm figuring out specifics, because that, that's honestly just going to hurt my head. Uh, and I'm playing for fun. There we go. So that should give us enough of those. And what else did we need? Uh, I think we're good. Oh, what am I missing? Oh, you know what we need? So we've got 11 of those. And we've got 11 of those. Uh, we are going to need to make a few more of the black quartz, which we have right over here. Uh, I've got them in the crusher over here. They should be done by now. It's like we'll have a little more than a stack of this stuff. That's nice. But yeah, I mean, see, I have done some serious mining. Uh, so hopefully uh, I won't have to mine for any materials for a little while. We got, yes. That's uh, exactly what I wanted to see. So I've got, uh, I, I needed some Envar uh, for one of the things I want to work on uh, getting crafted. We need to get some of this going. Do I have any tiny coal anymore? Yeah, that'll be perfect. We just needed a few of those, I think. We should be able to get uh, the rest of the subsidian put up. And I think we're pretty much done with that guy. That can go back in there. And uh, let's put the Restonia crystals back in the fancy stuff. And while we're at it, let's go ahead and pull out our laser wrench. Let's see. I think that's just enough. So these should be advanced item laser relays now. Sweet. And I'm going to want at least one regular energy laser. I should have uh, should have saved one of those. I think I did. <laughs> Again, I think it's another case of I didn't really want to do a bunch of math and write a bunch of stuff down. Not a big deal. We'll just uh, get ourselves another one. We, we may end up uh, wanting another advanced laser relay anyway. And some of you, I should go ahead and address this right now, uh, some of you may find this system a little familiar, uh, and that is because I got the basic idea for this, and in fact, by basic I mean uh, generally most of this idea, uh, from I believe it was season 7 of Direwolf. Uh, he did something very similar to this, but I thought it was a pretty good idea. And I'm just going to kind of tweak it a little bit for my purposes here. 
So that's basically what we're going to do. And I think uh, I may want one more of the item, regular item laser relays. And I could be wrong about this, but I, I think if I remember right, uh, we only need to have uh, the item laser relays coming off of the uh, item interface. So let's go ahead and get you. But I do want uh, an extra one here to kind of help me. Uh, in fact, I may even want a second one. I wasn't really thinking about this because I'm going to want one here. I'll probably want one there. In fact, we're probably just going to need the rest of these as item lasers because I want one here uh, to kind of direct the laser and I want one over there. So let's just go ahead and turn the rest of these into item lasers uh, before we get too crazy. There we go. And how are you guys doing? You're still doing pretty good. You're doing great. And we can pull the rest of that stuff out. So uh, with the amount of mining uh, that I've been doing, uh, I really, it, it would be extremely beneficial uh, for me to be able to come and, let's see, let's get you over there. Uh, I, I'd really love to just do the old input chest uh, and have this stuff automatically get sorted. So we can connect these like this. And, you know, we could uh, do a sorting system with thermal. Uh, I think it's thermal expansion. Um, and I looked at that, but I think it was going to be a lot more involved. Uh, and I was going to need to get a lot of other kind of stuff uh, that I wasn't really uh, wanting to get at least not right yet. I think I can do it like this. I think. Uh, I'm not going to uh, promise, but I think I can do it like that. And let's see, you should come over here. And we will have a basic idea. Uh, yes. Now see, that should be working pretty good. And I think there's a way, yeah, to inbound, we can smart whitelist these, which I absolutely love. And this, I think, is an open hand shift right click. Uh, and we can kind of uh, smart whitelist this stuff. And we'll, I'll want to come and adjust this. And I believe there are other filters I can put in here. Let's see. Yes, there are other uh, filters we can make. Uh, so uh, we're going to be able to uh, put quite a few filters on here. But I think this will get us started for now. Smart whitelist. Smart whitelist. Yeah, we're definitely going to want to use some filters, but I think this will get us started. And uh, look at that. Uh, no shifting. Uh, just a right click with an open hand will get us in there. But this is the basic idea. Now I will come back. I'll make uh, some of these filters. It doesn't look like they're going to be uh, terrible to make. But we should, uh, at this point, we can kind of test this a little bit. Uh, let's take out our solid experience here. And the only thing that should be able to go in this chest is solid experience. So if I put the solid experience in there, we see it disappear, and it should end up right over here. And if we look in our fancy stuff, uh, I should be able to say I come back with a bunch of uh, redstone and lapis. And I should be able to just come over here and put in our redstone and lapis. And we should be able to watch it appear back over here. Fantastic. Uh, so that is... Uh, a sorting system. I think that is going to work. Now, while we still have a little bit of time, I think it might be a good idea to go ahead and uh, see how this is going to work with our filters. 
So let's get some of this stuff. We might not need that many right now. No, there's some of that stuff. So we should be able to make, uh, hopefully, a few of these filters now. And that should be good to get us going. Does not look like they stack. So let's look in something like the ores and ingots. And let's remove you guys for the time being and slap a filter in here. And let's see what happens if I smart whitelist it. Oh, look at that. Isn't that nice? All we have to do is put the filter in here and then smart whitelist it and all that stuff ends up on that filter. Now what I don't know, uh, we won't filter this one because all I plan on putting in there is the solid experience. And to be pretty uh, honest, the reason I'm going to smart list or whitelist this one uh, like this is I may end up with more tools in here. Uh, and I don't want anything else going in here. So even though all I'm putting in here is solid experience, I still want the uh, whitelist on there so that that's the only thing that will go in there. And we'll do the same thing with food. And I may want two in here uh, for food because uh, we're going to have quite a bit of food. So let's smart whitelist the food. And you can see that that was a good idea. So let's get another one in there since it's already... There we go. Uh oh. How about if I put you there? There we go. Okay. And how about for Batania? Like we're probably going to have quite a bit of stuff uh, that we want in Batania. So let's smart whitelist those. And as we get more stuff, I think we'll probably need to smart whitelist this as well. Because uh, we're going to have a ton of different stuff in here. Smart whitelist. There we go. Nice. Uh, so let's get a few more of those. Because uh, we're going to want to do something similar with these. And I'm just kind of shift left clicking to clear those out really quick. And let's put a few of these in here because uh, uh, we're going to have tons and tons of that stuff. Looks like it all fit in the, in the one for now. I think it's still a good idea to have a few in there. And let's see, how about for you? Now this is another one where I'm probably going to want at least two in here. And we'll know as soon as we smart whitelist. And it looks like I need, maybe I need to put this right here. Yeah, there we go. And then, of course, this one we're probably going to want several. Uh, so, again, uh, we will see what happens if I... Maybe I need to put them all in a row or something. There we go. All right, so that, I believe, is everything sorted. And I'm going to test that right now. We're going to dump a bunch of this cobble back in. And that should, this is really what I'm wanting to test is this right here. I don't know. And look at that. Oh, that is nice. That's a new graphic. I'm not used to seeing that. So there we go. Uh, there is our sorting system. Uh, that, I think, is actually going to wrap up today's episode. Uh, that's pretty much all I needed to get uh, done for today. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed things. And again, uh, if I can find the exact episode uh, where I learned how to do this uh, from Mr. Direwolf. Uh, I will be more than happy to put a link for that video in the description. Uh, but honestly, uh, I don't know that I'll be able to find it. Uh, I will look for it, though. So if I can find it, uh, you will see uh, his video, uh, link for his video down in the description. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed watching today's episode. I hope you're enjoying the new series. Thanks for stopping by today, guys, and take care.